Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Saturday, May 19th. It's the seventh week of Easter and week six in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 107, verse 33 to 48, and Matthew chapter 9, verse 18 to 36. And join me now in singing verse 4 of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts, as in the desert long ago when our forebears provoke God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia! God turns rivers into a wilderness and the springs of water into dry ground. Alleluia! Psalm 107, and please recite it with me. Alleluia! God turns rivers into wilderness and springs of water into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness because of the wickedness of them that dwell there. God turns the wilderness into a pool of water and water springs from dry ground. And there God makes the hungry dwell, and they that may prepare a city in which to live. And so the fields and plant vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase, God blesses them so that they are multiplied, and did not let their cattle herds decrease. They are diminished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow, and God pours contempt upon rulers and makes them to wander in the wilderness. And yet God frees the poor from affliction and multiplies their families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice, but all iniquity shall shut her mouth. Those who are wise will observe these things. They shall know the loving kindness of God the Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God turns rivers into a wilderness and springs of water into dry ground. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 9, beginning at verse 18. While Jesus was saying these things to them, suddenly a leader of the synagogue came in and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and she will live. And Jesus got up and followed him with his disciples. Suddenly a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak, for she said to herself, if I only touch his cloak, I will be made well. Jesus turned, and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly the woman was made well. Then Jesus came to the leader's house, and he saw the flute players in the crowd making a commotion. He said, Go, away, go away, for the girl is not dead but sleeping. And they just laughed at him. But when the crowd had been put outside, he went in and he took her by the hand, and the girl got up, and the report of this spread throughout the district. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, crying loudly, Have mercy on us, son of David. And when he entered the house, the blind men came to him and said, And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? And they said, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done. And their eyes were opened. Then Jesus sternly ordered them, See that no one knows of this. But they went away and spread the news about him throughout that district. After they had gone away, a demoniac who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke. And the crowds were amazed and said, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel.
But the Pharisees said, By the ruler of the demons he casts out the demons. And then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. And then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Here ends the lesson. Defend us and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us forth, O beloved God, into your kingdom, and deliver us from all our troubles, for we sing your praises. In Jesus' name, amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.